Hey guys, it's Watch Rambler here. Uh, today I am going to do the unboxing of my Watch Gang Platinum watch. Uh, so for those of you who aren't familiar with Watch Gang, it's essentially um, a company that uses the buying power of a large group uh, to get you discounts on watches. So they have multiple tiers. They have a $30 tier, um, a $100 tier, a $300 tier, and a $1,000 tier. Uh, so with each of those tiers, you get a watch that's valued at higher than the amount of money that you're spending. Um, so the Platinum, which is what I'm going to unbox today, um, so the Platinum membership is $300, and the watches are estimated to be between $500 and $1,500. So, you know, when you think about it for $300, that's, that's, a, that's a great deal. The only catch is you don't know what the watch is. So, you know, you, you open up a watch that you're not quite sure what it is. So if you are interested, I went ahead and put a link down below. Um, you can, you can either go to their website, uh, watchgang.com. Um, but uh, if you'd like to click the link down below, it'll give me credit for it. Um, basically say I kind of referred you there. Um, I always appreciate that. Um, but you can go either way. It's totally up to you. Um, so the other thing like that you can see on the website is that you could get a free Rolex. Uh, so every Friday they do a Rolex giveaway. So one of the members um, from any of the groups, uh, so any of the tiers uh, can get a free Rolex. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's get to what we were talking about. Oh, actually, before I forget, can't forget the wristwatch check. Um, so this is a beautiful watch. Uh, this is the Stermanski. Um, I love this watch. It has a 24 hour clock. So you have the GMT hand you can see here. Um, it's the red hand. Uh, then you have the hours, the minutes and the second hand. And the second hand you can see has this little uh, touch of red on the tip. Um, it really pops. This this watch is beautiful. This outer bezel here, kind of where you usually have your helium release on a diver watch. Um, this is actually, you, you open this up, so you unscrew this bezel, and then, or excuse me, this crown, and then you can uh, rotate the inner bezel. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And then this is another screw down crown. You can see the red accents on it. Love the watch. Um, nice, nicely accented band as well. Uh, I, I will do a video on this one, but uh, awesome watch. Highly recommend the Stermanski. I mean, it's a limited release watch, so you might not be able to get one. But uh, one of these days, maybe I'll be willing to part with it. So, um, but not today. Anyway, so today we are going to talk about uh, this platinum. So let's open this bad boy up uh, and see what's in there. Here is the. Uh, Inner pack. These are the little inserts that you get with the watches. Um, these inserts are basically the cards show you the memberships. They have a theme, um, so it looks like maybe the Centum is like an explorer's watch of some sort. Um, the Platinum looks like it's more of a business type watch. Uh, the uh, Black looks more divers esque. I mean, you get the theme, and maybe like a driver's watch or. Uh, just a everyday weekend party watch with her in the background. I don't know. Um, but uh, they're, they're all kind of themed. They don't include the partners on the cards any longer. Um, but today, let's see what we got. I'm kind of excited to see this thing. Okay, so it's a white box. Looks like it was packed upside down. Oh, no, there is no writing on the box. An indescript box. Let's take a peek at what's in this box. All right. So um, the T. I, so I actually think this is. Uh, I I, I kind of cheated a little bit. Um, I've looked on the website, the Watch Gang Exchange. That's the other nice thing about Watch Gang is you can get on Watch Gang Exchange. You can uh, trade watches with other people who um, received a watch that maybe wasn't really their taste. Uh, because let's face it, you, you're getting a box club where they're sending you a watch. They're not all going to be your taste. I mean, even if you're the luckiest guy on the planet, you are going to get a watch that is not your taste. So you get on a watch game exchange, you meet some good guys, um, and then you trade the watch. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can obviously trade it on any form you'd like, but uh, watch game exchange is designed for that purpose. 
So this watch is what I believe to be a TELUS watch. I'm not that familiar with TELUS. Um, honestly, before I did the video here for the unboxing, I wanted to see what I got. Um, I did uh, see some of the other guys uh, that posted TELUS and it looked like a nice watch. Um, and you know, I, there, there were a couple others this month. There's the Maurice Lacroix. Um, there's a Mercer watch that I saw um, on Platinum. But uh, this box, it's pretty nice. It's like a, it's kind of like a, I, I'm sure it's like a faux wood, but uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's quick close. All right, so there we go. That is the watch. Let's see what we think about this. Let's pull it out. So at first blush, um, I, I like it. It's kind of more of like an indescript uh, watch. It doesn't really have a whole lot of um, overt pop, um, but it's a nice watch. It looks like I could wear it on a kind of a casual day. This is like maybe if I had khakis and a blue shirt on, this would probably go pretty well. Um, let's see what it looks like. Okay, I like this. This is the uh, quick release clasp here on the leather bands. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I think that is nice. Let's take the plastic off because we don't care about that right now. Um, but uh, here you can see, let's see what we can find about this. So all stainless, looks like 100 meters um, water resistance. Um, looks looks pretty good. Let's see what the band has to say. So the strap, it feels pretty good. It's got like a nice thickness, um, nice thickness, good mobility. Um, it feels it feels nice. Sometimes you get a leather strap and they just feel cheap. You know, this does not have that cheap feel. It feels like nice leather. Um, you can see the TELUS uh, stamp here. Um, let's see what they've got here. Okay, so nothing on the other side, but it, it, it looks nice. Overall, I'm, I'm impressed by the strap, but let's face it, we don't buy the watch for the strap. And it might influence it. So here you can see, um, try to get that light out of there so you guys don't have to see that. But uh, okay, so it's got a six o'clock date. I'm a fan of like, a, if you have a simple face, I do like the six o'clock date. What the six o'clock date does is it adds a symmetry to the watch face. Um, I, I, you know, because if you put it here at the three o'clock, then you have the crown on that side. It just adds, in my mind, a little bit of asymmetry. I mean, obviously you could do it at the nine o'clock, I suppose, and then it would be symmetrical to the crown. But I mean, you know, whatever. I, I think the six o'clock date is nice. Um, you can see it's an automatic watch. And it, it's, it is a white dial. It kind of looks cream. Um, but that that's most likely due to picking up the background from the desk here. Uh, let me see if I can set it against the um, the backdrop of the case so you can get a sense of that it is actually a white. Uh, you kind of get it. Um, I'll snap some photos and, and put some photos in here as well. Um, but it has a brushed stainless uh, steel. There's no crown stamp with the logo. Um, overall looks pretty nice. Let's pop this open. Let's see if it's a screw down crown. It doesn't look like it. Let's see if it is though. Oh, it is actually. So a screw down crown. I was going to say for a hundred meters water resistant, I would like to see a screw down crown. Um, but so this is a screw down crown. Responsive date. Um, let's put it, push it in one. So now it's kind of in. I'm winding it. It has a really nice wind feel. I don't know the type of movement, but what I will do is I will look into the movement um, and I'll post more information on the movement as well. Um, and then we can adjust the time. And I do like to see how quickly the date snaps. Okay, so if you noticed, it's kind of started at around 11. Um, and then it snaps at uh, 12. So, you know, that's not bad. That's a pretty responsive date snap. Um, I love it when you get this nice crisp at midnight, it snaps and you've got the next date, but I'll take like an hour lag or so. Um, that, that also works for me. 
Um, and then we screw this back down. And then let's do the wrist shot. Let's put this on the wrist and see what we think. All right, so we've got this on the wrist. Um, looks good, it feels good. Um, it looks like, so for those of you who have a larger wrist, uh, you can probably make this work. Um, it does have quite a few additional holes. I'm a seven roughly on my wrist, and I'd say, um, you know, in terms of spanning, so I'm on the second hole, there's one, two, three, four, five additional holes. Um, so you could expand it, you know, you figure there's about, um, I just say if you wanted to be safe, I'd say five millimeters spacing between there. Uh, so you, you could probably buy yourself. So if you're at eight and a half, you could probably fit into this watch pretty comfortably. I think the question comes in as to whether or not you would feel comfortable with the case size. It is a 42 uh, case, uh, so 42 millimeter case, uh, which is a good size. I like that. For me, I'm a tall guy, uh, six foot three, um, you know, kind of a bigger guy, 230 or so pounds. Uh, so I feel like a 42 millimeter fits me quite well. Um, here you can see 22 millimeters lug to lug, which is nice. I always hate it when a watch comes out with a 21 millimeter. I mean, unless it's a watch I really, really want. Uh, 21 is just kind of an odd millimeter um, for, uh, or sorry, the the uh, strap facing um, or the, uh, the, the strap size. I think I said lug to lug, but strap size. So um, that's between the lugs. Um, because, you know, if you have a, a strap that's 21, most of them are 20 or 22. So then you're either too small or too big and then you have to kind of cram it in there. Uh, let's see the lug to lug spacing. Lug to lug, we're looking at roughly 40, 48, 48 millimeters, roughly lug to lug. Um, sorry, it doesn't look like that, but I'm trying to angle this here while it's on the wrist. It does show roughly 48 lug to lug, um, which is nice. The other thing that I do like, it's hard to see. Um, so first of all, it looks nice and polished. The only downside is it is on, if I put it on my left wrist and I set my wrist down, you know, it's going, it's slightly off center to the left. I always feel like if they do a buckle like this, they should make it so it's off centered, um, which would be hard to do. Um, or recess somehow. I, you know, I, it, there, there are some other ways to go about it or make it brushed because if you go polished, as soon as you set it on a uh, desk, you're, I mean, you're gonna get desk rash on this. It's gonna look pretty uh, marked up. Uh, but I do like it. I think it fits well, it feels good. Uh, but one thing I wanna show you guys that I think is kind of nice um, is that even though it does have roughly 48 millimeters lug to lug, um, I'll post the, the specifics in a photo as well. You can see that the lugs are curved. You know, what the, what the curved lugs offer you is they offer a larger watch, um, a smaller kind of wrist imprint. And what I mean by that is like, if these lugs were poking straight out, then your, your straps wouldn't really arc down until around out somewhere out here, right? So the, the lugs would be poking straight out and then your straps would kind of bend at this point. And so when they hinge like that, it makes the watch wear larger. Um, you know, and the other thing is they're kind of bending down and so you can't really see them as much as you would see them if they were kind of poking straight out. Um, it just wears better. It also feels more comfortable. Uh, I'm not a fan of the, these, these straight uh, lugs. I do like it on these larger watches when they curve the lugs a bit. And as you can see here, they do have a domed crystal. I'm willing to wager that this is a sapphire crystal. Um, it doesn't say sapphire on the back, but um, a Swiss movement. I, I didn't mention that earlier, so you, I'm sure you guys saw it and you're like, why isn't he saying Swiss movement? Well, Swiss movement. Um, anyway, I will go ahead and throw up uh, some shots here. So I'll just do some environmental shots. Um, and then give you some stats on it, kind of give you a price range, see how well we scored this month. But overall, I will keep this watch. I mean, I'm gonna use this watch. Um, this is a nice watch. I will say it does kind of remind me of like the Timex Expedition, which is a $30 watch. Um, 
Um, but it feels a lot sturdier um, and it feels like it's got a lot more body to it. Um, it doesn't, I wouldn't say heavy because it's not really a heavy piece, uh, but uh, it, it does have that simple look to it. So if you're a fan of the simple look, which I do like some of my watches to have a very simple look, you know, somewhat akin to the Timex Expedition, I think this would be a nice watch to add to your collection uh, because it's gonna give you that automatic movement. Uh, it's a Swiss movement. Um, and it, it, it'll be a little bit uh, more of a quality watch than the Timex. Um, I actually say probably a lot more quality in terms of the watch. All right, guys, so I did a little bit of digging and I found the watch online. Uh, this is the TELUS website. Uh, they call it the Plongeur, or however you pronounce that. Uh, basically, it's 530 roughly euros, so 523 euros, which translates to about 630 bucks uh, USD. And then here on Amazon, I found the same watch for, um, it, it shows in Canadian there, but that translates to about $680. So really, I mean, this was a great deal. I paid $300 to watch gang and I got a $650 watch. We'll just take an average. Um, but the greatest part is the movement. Uh, if you notice, this is the um, ETA 2824 movement. Um, so this is an awesome movement. It's an automatic 25 joule movement that has a 40 hour power reserve and 28,800 uh, beats per hour. So you get a really smooth sweep of the second hand. Um, I, I think it's phenomenal. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, and, you know, all, overall for, you know, what I paid and what I got, I think it was uh, very reasonable. Um, the, here, here are a couple of environmental shots of the watch, um, just kind of showing it out. It was a little cloudy today, otherwise I would have tried to get some better light shots. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I, this is a great watch. Uh, you know, you can take it to the lake, you can take it to the, um, you know, just take it kind of out on your casual day. I don't think it's like a, a work watch per se, but it's not that I couldn't use it to go to work. Um, but what I've done is I've also put it on a few different straps to show you that it is a pretty versatile watch. I feel like I lucked out by getting the cream dial. Uh, because it has a lot of flexibility with different straps. Um, if you notice, it does kind of resemble the um, the Timex Expedition, though, um, with the exception of the three o'clock date. And you know, for me, that's kind of a big deal because it's a symmetry thing. And I think that this six o'clock date on the Telus is a much cleaner look. Um, and the other thing is, is it's not a quartz movement. It's a nice Swiss, um, movement. So I, I feel like this will be a watch. I'll get some good wear out of, um, I'll enjoy wearing and I, I can get some satisfaction out of it. And, you know, I can kind of make it into whatever watch I want. You know, I can change up the strap, uh, change up the feel of the watch. So, um, you yeah, know, that kind of sums it up. Uh, you know, some people will say, oh, well, save your money and just go buy a Seiko. I always hear that, and I'm just like, well, you know, yeah, but the, the purpose of this is really to try something new um, and get a watch that might have been out of a price range that you would be willing to spend to try a new cool watch. And, you know, I feel like it was successful. It's not always going to be successful, so you have to be willing to take that gamble. Uh, but anyway, if you want to check it out, uh, you can click the link down below to go to Watch Gang, or you can just go to WatchGang.com. I do appreciate the referral, um, but I really appreciate you watching the video, and uh, please leave some comments down below if you have any suggestions, or if I was egregiously incorrect on any details, which it wouldn't surprise me. Um, and uh, I try to address those comments as uh, soon as I can. And if you like the video, uh, you know, throw a like down there. I appreciate that as well. And feel free to subscribe. I'll keep doing unboxings. I've got a couple watches in the lineup now um, to kind of uh, unveil, if you will, over the next month or so. So anyway, uh, keep your eyes out. If you subscribe, you'll get uh, updates on all of those. Thanks so much, and uh, keep watching out there. <laughs>